Hello and welcome everybody. Today we're going to have a little comparison between the king of the river poker chips versus Monte Carlo chips. But before we dive into it, we want to discuss the differences between the Monte Carlo chips. All right. So this is the first, not the first, probably the third sample set I got from Apache Poker Chips, Smooth Edges, what I consider kind of the original design. Now, the poker store has come out with variations on this. You see, I'm already, I've already put the wrong chip in here, where they have the light and the dark. So obviously with the label being white or the label being the smoke color, which, you know, I, it actually, I'm surprised at how different they actually look in person. So these two are very similar. Uh, I would say the poker store one, the color varies a little bit in the number one but that could just be manufacturing tolerances. And then it's more of the green, the lighter green color here. And the five they changed. So you can see instead of the purple yellow with the darker red, they used the lighter red with the gray and white. So, you know, there is differences. There are differences here. So pick your favorite one. I, I, I don't know if I have a favorite one. Right now I'm leaning towards the smoke, but two weeks ago I thought these were better because I liked the contrast between the dark red and the white. So it just depends how I feel and my mood. All right, so there are differences here. Now, let's play a hand before we dive into this comparison. We'll just throw these in, one, five, whatever. I don't even know how the pot got to that stage, but that's just what we're gonna do. So these are some Trefel, Trefil, Polish, Polish cards? Am I, am I mistaken in thinking that? Let me know in the comments below. All right, we're gonna remove the jokers. Oh look, hey, how to play, we need this. I'm gonna save that. We need to, how to poker hands 101. We definitely need that. All right, 100% plastic playing cards. And I'm not good enough to know how to edge sort. So if you guys see anything here, let me know. We're going to deal to Jane Doe. And myself, if you want to play at home, shuffle your deck at home, deal yourself two cards. We're going to play hold them. Not really because the betting cycles are thrown out the window because, hey, we're on YouTube. All right, let's see how these chips do. We've got a nice smoke one on top right there. It flops. I haven't even looked at my cards yet. Fine, I'll play blind. Turn. And the dramatic river. Ace, I have the ace. And Jane is not gonna beat me this time. She has nines, but a nine didn't drop. <laughs> Save her every time I win. Thank you very much. All right, so we're not gonna get into weights and measures and stuff today, but I wanna talk about some, some big ideas here, okay? So we have all these samples of every, just all kinds of just Monte Carlo chips everywhere, okay? All three sets mixed together. This is what they look like. Whoop-dee-doo. All right, but we're going to compare them to the king of the river poker. Now, there are a couple of things that need to be discussed. Oh, look, I have more. Gosh, I got so many of these chips. So there are some things to discuss. For starters, it's really difficult to say which is better, all right? And that's not what this is about. This video is kind of more about ideas. So when I look at these, I think of, you know, the Rio World Series of Poker Chips, which have a similar look and a feel, but the World Series of Poker Chips are Paulson RHC, Reverse Hat and Cane Mold. I actually have some here. So I'm going to bust open this. So I have this, not sure if you're going to be able to see, but I have this plastic, this acrylic. Uh, chip carrier, okay? So we're gonna pull some chips out and we're gonna compare, okay? So here's what a reverse hat and cane chip look, looks like for those of you not familiar, okay? So you can see how the, the hat mold, I'm not sure if that's gonna show up, I'm gonna show you some glare there, but there's the hat mold around the edges and you can see this is an RHC mold and this is a THC mold because there's that little circle, it's a little line between the hat mold and the edge. So this is a THC top hat and cane mold, and this is an RHC mold. 
From what I've seen, World Series of Poker Chips are the RHC mold Paulson. So they have this chalky material. They're I, I don't, they're kind of a softer plastic compared to like a ceramic. A ceramic is just a hard plastic. So these are different than what I think of when I first think of tournament poker chips. You say tournament poker chips, I think of World Series of Poker, Reverse Hat and Cane Mold, lovely chips. And I think of huge stacks of them because that's what you see in the main event at the, you know, for them in the final table. And so these are very tournament-esque to me, even though they are ceramics. And I like ceramics for different reasons. Now, am I playing tournaments? No, I'm not hosting tournaments. I don't really play in any tournaments anymore. I've been away from Vegas and the West Coast for so long, it just hasn't ever materialized, okay? So, tournaments. Now, when I look at these, okay, obviously, for those of you unfamiliar, Tournament chips have no cash value. You can't go to a ca casino cage and cash out at any time during a tournament. It's purely a tournament. And so you play for what are basically points, okay? And you compare that to a cash chip. Do we have a 100? A cash chip, which will have the dollar sign here. And in Vegas or other casinos, this is a, you people call it a check because the casino guarantees the value of this. You take this to the cage, they're going to give you your cash, right? And so at home, a lot of people like the cash game chips, like with the dollar signs or the denomination pounds, whatever it may be. But we have tournament chips too. So which one do you want? So fundamentally, the idea behind these two are very different, needless to say, all right? And I explained a little bit more in detail than normal because there are going to be people who are new to the idea of hosting a home game and new to the idea of poker. So welcome everybody. Now, once you get past that, all right, do you want tournament chips or do you want cash chips? There's a huge selection to choose from. And so we're gonna focus on these two particular chips and I'm gonna pair, compare apples to oranges. We're gonna start with this, okay? So hard ceramic, and you'll notice that if you want the edge spots to align, you're gonna to have to pay extra. Some quirks about ceramics, there is a dimple because they're molded. And so every mold will have you know a point where you're injecting that material to be molded. And they feel like hard plastic, okay? I'm not saying that there is no ceramic material in here. I'm saying that with all my experience of cutting, scratching, breaking these chips, it's a hard plastic, all right? It feels like a hard plastic. Again, I don't know the secret recipe, the, the Krabby Patty formula that they use to make these chips. So you get that. And then the edge spots don't align unless you pay extra for it. And then they will align those chips. You're gonna have dimples in them. They have good graphics. They're very durable and robust. Like you rub them together, there'll be a little bit of wear, but generally speaking, ceramics will last a good long while. And they haven't been ever, as far as I know, test positive for lead. Las Vegas casino chips in the 70s, 80s, 90s, when you test those for lead, those come back positive for lead. Paulson has come out with a public announcement saying that they're gonna reduce the amount of lead or that they're gonna to try to control it. I don't know if they've completely reduced it to zero or just reduced the amount of lead that they put in their chips, but I haven't heard any complaints from the recent Paulson chips. Again, I don't know the secret Krabby Patty formula. So ceramics seem pretty safe from my experience, and that's just my opinion. Hard, durable, robust, good-looking chips, bright colors, and they wear very well, and they don't chip easily. I'm not saying you can't chip them, they just don't chip easily. I've had sets for years, and we've thrown them around on the table, you know, under normal poker-playing circumstances. I'm not talking about, well, when I threw mine into my wood chipper, it got chipped up. Yeah, do you think? All right, so that's kind of a summary of those. Now, the Monte Carlo chips. They are considered, look at this, occasionally with labels, you're just gonna get some skewwampity. Same with ceramics. Sometimes you'll get off-centered chips or little flaws in chips, and that's just how it's gonna be, okay? So, because you're getting hundreds of them, you know, every, not everyone's gonna be perfect. So, we're down to the Monte Carlo poker chips. Now, these are what I call a metal slug ABS chip. Now there are claims that these there are there's clay content in these. 
but the clay content doesn't mean they're, they're going to feel like a compression molded clay Paulson. They feel like ABS, even though there may be clay in here. So just be advised. This, in my opinion, doesn't feel like this, okay? Like a real casino chip. They feel plasticky. Not saying there is not clay in here. Clay is a very common additive in plastics, all right? The chemical engineers or manufacturing engineers in the comments below have commented before, well, we, had, we put clay in all sorts of plastics. And it's not China clay. I forget what they put. It's not Montmorillonite. Whatever, whatever kind of clay they put in there. But Oh, is it kaolinite? Is that China clay? Either way. All right, I'm getting off track. Either way, they feel plasticky. And on the inside, they have a metal slug. If you, I have a video out called what, what are poker chips made of? It's like poker chip materials. And I show you the metal slugs. You can go look up that video if you want on my channel. So they have a good weight to them. They're generally speaking heavier than the ceramic chips, which weigh about 10 grams. And these can weigh anywhere from like 11 grams all the way up to like 14. I think I have like the coin inlay ones are like 15 grams that I've weighed. Again, you can go back and watch my catalog of videos. So they have a good weight to them. And texture is important to some people and to a certain extent it is to me. These are both pretty sticky. You can see the ceramics might be a little bit more slick, but the they both feel good. But to me, the ceramics, and this is my opinion and everybody's different, but to me, the ceramics from BR Pro Poker are just the right texture to shuffle. They shuffle very easily in my opinion and they're not quite Paulson level for like doing other tricks like this rollover trick. See, a little slick for that. Again, my opinion. To me, the Monte Carlos are a little too sticky to shuffle um, as easily as ceramics, but they do shuffle pretty, pretty easily. And they are a little bit more textured and it's a little easier to do some of these tricks like the rollover trick, okay? So to each their own. And as far as standing on edge, it's really just comes down to the batch that you get. But I've, but ceramics in my opinion are actually pretty hard to stand on edge. Where these ABS metal slug chips, it really varies. It really depends on the batch that you get. See, I can't balance the ceramic. That particular one isn't gonna cooperate. So little things, but I wouldn't count on this. There you have it. So, if I had to choose one of these today, right now, I would choose ceramics, but I would choose a cash set, not a tournament set. So, these are not really on the table. They're not something I want to get huge sets of. Next week, I think, so I'm exploring custom sets, as you guys know. I ordered a custom set last year, and I'm going to probably order another custom set here in the next 12 months. And so I have some more custom chip thoughts. Oh, maybe I'll do that next week. So let's do that next week. But between these two, uh, which one's my favorite? I'm, you know me, I'm not a huge fan of knockoff chips. So like the EPT knockoff chips, I just really don't like. I want to see them on TV. I don't want to buy a set. Same with like the Rio. These are well designed. When I look at these, they're screaming tournaments. So if I were hosting tournaments, I would, you know, legit consider these. They're beautiful chips, but not my, really my cup of tea. The Monte Carlos, despite their flaws and not my favorite texture and they're a little bit heavy, are good enough where if I had to choose between these two, I'd probably buy some Monte Carlos. And gosh, I'm tempted to flip again because the smoke are nice, but the original light Monte Carlo sure are classic. I, the Monte, let's just say the Monte Carlo. So if I had to choose between these two, I'd choose the Monte Carlo, mostly because of the big picture design aspects that I like. They're not blatantly copy. But Monte Carlo, you see, Monte Carlo is a casino in Las Vegas. You know what? I'm just going to say Monte Carlo and just not explain it because right now that's how I feel. 
great chips, very durable. I, I like ceramic chips more than ABS chips, but in this particular case, I kind of deliberately found one of my least favorite ceramic chips to compare to the Monte Carlos, just because I wanted to. So let us know your thoughts in the comments below. I hope we all have, I hope nobody, not everybody agrees with me, but the Monte Carlo win in my opinion, cash set, reasonable quality from the two sources that I stated, Apache Poker Chips or the Poker Store. Is it Poker Store or the Poker Store? Whatever. And then BR Pro Poker makes some excellent ceramics. I have a couple sets of BR Pro that I paid for with my own money. Everything in this video I paid for with my own money, by the way. So I, nobody sent me these chips for review. I bought these because of genuine interest. That said, I'm looking forward to reading your comments about what you had in the hand that we played. Did you, get, did you get a straight? Did you? Oh, we didn't quite fill the flush. Let us know what you had in the uh, trips. Let us know what you had in the comments below, and let us know which one of these two sets you like the most: Monte Carlo or King of the River Poker. Thank you to my patrons for your support. It means a lot to me that my patrons are so communicative and supportive of my content. I offer general support where I post behind the scenes pictures, an occasional video, and you can also support this channel by visiting my Amazon shop. I'll put a link in the description below. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe.